So are you looking for something to do with the kids or possibly a new date night local spot? Well, we have a place that's great for both and it costs less than going to the movies. Grab a pizza and have a game night out. You heard that right. Michelle Oliver is taking us to 3 and Up Game Board Lounge. Want a way to relax after a troubling day? See what I did there? Well, there's a place where you can kick back, relax, and get your game on. It's called Three and Up Board Game Lounge. We started the lounge as a place to uh, bring communities together. I mostly associate games with either playing with my family or actually having parties and party games. I like playing Pizza Party and Pretty Pretty Princess and um, Dream Phone with my friends and really sort of going back to being a child or a teenager and just like recreating those memories. They have a ton of games to choose from. So we're sitting between 1,100 and 1,200 games right now. It took quite some time to, to create a collection of 1,000 board games, and we really wanted 1,000 before we were able to open the location. And they're all categorized into different genres, like party games, war games, children's games, family games, card games, strategy, and abstract strategy. Like this game I'm playing with Chris, the owner, called Blockus. So play one of your pieces. On the dot. On the dot. Is there a strategy to the which? The game is to play as many of your pieces as you can. Um, at the end of the game, whoever has the most amount of tiles left loses. They also have vintage games. You might remember this one. And if all of this seems overwhelming to you, don't worry. What people often do is they come in and they kind of stick to those old favorites like Clue and Sorry and Monopoly. And those games are great, but there are so many new games. And so we have uh, actual shelf of our picks for people that we can suggest. I've had games where we bought them and you're reading through this like thick <laughs> manual of how to play it. Yeah. And no one seems to know. You play the first game kind of guessing at the rules. Yes. Do you have people here that can help explain those rules Absolutely. so that you're not our, lost? Yeah, our gaming assistants can help with the rules for most games. Um, they know a, a good majority of these games. And they spend a lot of time looking at the rules. But you know what, if you can't figure out the rules, just make up the game. <laughs> It costs $7 per person to play for 90 minutes, and you don't have to come with a group. If it's a busy gaming night here and we have um, tables that are full, we have actually little um, cards that people can pick up at the, at the check-in desk that are called free parking, and it's a way to kind of say, like, I like to play with other people. Perhaps the best reason for playing here as opposed to at home is that there are no distractions. The board game lounge is always here, the tables are always set up, we clean up, it's easy. It's amazing how many families come in to the lounge and the children have never seen Sorry or Clue. And so a parent gets to really share that experience with their child or their friends for the first time in different games and, and I think it's special. Looks like a good fun night out and as Michelle mentioned it costs seven dollars per person for 90 minutes four dollars for every hour after that and they even offer monthly memberships how about that 